Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Fight forever and ever and ever and ever. Hey guys, sorry for watching this. <laughs> With this damn Barry. <laughs> That's the name of the show. For the right now. <laughs> so you With me as always, Jake Atlas, Heather Monroe. How's it going, guys? I, always. Yeah, I say that's my intro for every single oh, wow. show. Is like with me as always. We're and, assholes uh, for not watching this. No, no. no, no, no. <laughs> you would be among before. millions of other people. <laughs> that's, my that's my bad. That's my bad. What, have you actually watched the show, or is this sort of like no. a, you're being nice? Yeah, no, I get it. No, because a lot of people go like, oh, yeah, I've seen some of your interviews, and you're almost like, oh, yeah, which ones? Because you know they're lying to you, and it's like, I'm not, I, I, I don't get, I don't watch it. I watch and, like, see myself, and I'm like, oh, you suck, and then I change the channel immediately and watch, uh... Hey, you don't suck, no? You don't actually mean that. <laughs> show me an example of me not sucking. <laughs> So, so fresh off the, I'm gonna start with Jake, because it's fresh off the heels of your big uh, PWG Bola Night Two versus Jungle Boy. Um, why did you squash him? Like, what happened? <laughs> uh, I hate him. I hate him to death. No, uh, man, that was that was so much fun. Uh, Jungle Boy and I wrestled like a lot this year, yeah. so I think that's why we had the match that we had because it was like he's pinned me, I've pinned him. And then, like, it was like we ran out of ideas almost. So we did. So you did every idea? So we did almost everything else. But every that, match yeah. that you've had, just into one. Just match. into one. So. Because yeah. it was like, um, from the perspective of somebody who, like, sort of, like, watches PWG from, like, almost an outside view, because I'm not really there, uh, you see it, and it's like you guys were the guys I considered you, like, and it's going to sound terrible when I say it initially, <laughs> but I understand where I'm coming from. We're like, your first show there, you were, like, lucky to be there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I and I get that feeling. Like, that was me with DDT. Like, yep. I was like, I don't belong here, and you have that mindset. To being, like, the match on the second night of the card. Like, I feel like it was, like, a growing experience. And I feel like at that point, you guys were second night, like, fuck it. We gotta, we gotta kill ourselves. Cause oh, Because yeah. we are establishing ourselves on the grand stage and, like, seeing the yeah, world. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, when I debuted for PWG, I think it definitely was that I'm lucky to be here. Yeah. I don't think I'm ready type of thing. Uh, I mean, my our match got booed, so it was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, like I get it. Like you know what I mean? my career so has like... been booed, Jake. I don't know. If you're... <laughs> but no, but like you, you, so you went out and you were like, "This is gonna be my my moment." I have to prove that now I can be here. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And uh, did you like at the end of the match? You went to the back. Um, you know, you, you sat there. You breathed really heavy. I assume both of you vomit. Um, <laughs> did you, like, kind of, like, when no one was around, like, look at each other, like, we fucking did it. Like, uh, I, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, I mean, I understood, like, Jungle Boy's perspective, because he's, like, kind of, he's done with the indies, you yeah. know, for the most part. Yeah. So he just wanted to have... He, he went out with the fireworks. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I understood that. And we had to, and I learned so much out of everyone that came up to us and were, like, critiquing us and telling us what we could have done better yeah um but like once that kind of went away we kind of looked at each other and we're like you know we did it you know yeah, yeah. it was like who can say they had match of the night at pwg yeah like, i didn't think i would have ever been i've never been able to say <laughs> that so and it happened so it was cool you were that no, you were in san diego yeah how was that oh, oh my, my god, god. Well, i wanted that I, there's a reason this stuff it's like pwg like, it's good. all right and then i was at a strip, strip club, club. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling wrestling, wrestling. It's not a side job okay wrestling, guys yeah. um i'd be way richer if i was a stripper but Same. no i probably lost my <laughs> go ahead so i was just strip club experience yeah. it was, was a it? lot of fun i was like I, I wanted to be on the show because it was at a strip club, and I was, like, very interested to see what that was about. So there was dancers that, okay. like, danced right before the show and then, like, right after intermission okay. in a dirty-ass, disgusting ring that, like, yeah. all this sweat and, like, oh, the gross blood dude bodies. And, the <laughs> yeah. and I was, like, just watching, I was like, 
they're just like rolling around mostly naked on yeah. this disgusting mat. I was, I was saying it's like the first time strippers actually worried about getting ringworm. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck is this now? And just. But I was really happy with my match, and like I was the only woman on the card, and I was a little worried because of the environment that the dudes would all be like, "Show me your tits." I feel like they would do that at like a high school gymnasium too. Because That's guys true. Are pretty shitty. As, but in everyone general. was super, like, Who did you great. Say? DKC. And it was good. I'm sure that was... No, no, no. Like, <laughs> oh whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It was so really, fun is what No, I mean. it was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah. I think... Uh, he's, I wrestled... That's the second time I've wrestled yeah, yeah. him, and I was the heel and he was the face, which was the... Oh, really? Opposite That's of funny. last time. So it was, like, interesting, because he's such a, like, shitty, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. piece of shit heel yeah, that yeah, I was yeah. like, oh. what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you buried him twice. You buried him no, that's a, no, that's a character. compliment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, what was the name of the show? Oh, it was uh, called Boobies and Body Slams. God damn right it was. God damn right it was. <laughs> Available on the High Spots Wrestling Network for nine ninety nine. <laughs> it's literally the intermission is all they film for some reason. Weird. Yeah. No, technically you're not supposed to have cameras in the strip club. That's oh, true. Yeah, yeah. There's a big They sign. told people beforehand they couldn't take pictures. At a radio show? That probably went over well. Yeah. Did it, did it work? Did anyone um, not take I only got tagged in one Instagram thing. And it was like, it was like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually like, okay, we're done. Is that the weirdest name of a show you've ever been on? Probably. Jake, Jake in a face like he knows her. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm trying to think, think yeah. And body slams. Because I feel like bar wrestling has silly names. Yeah. So nothing like that. Right, but they're never sexual. They're always kind of like weird. Right. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. Like I was saying before, I was in a show called Boner Jam. Actually, I've been on three Boner Jams. Boner Jam. I've actually, had two Boner Jams. Was that also at a strip club? No, oh, it was. Okay. Uh, at, well, one of them was in like a concert venue, and then one of them was at WrestleMania weekend. Oh. And it was like uh, weird because like I actually got turned away at the Canadian border because of the show called Boner Jam, which I think is hilarious. Uh, I've told the story before in the network, but like the brief synopsis is, I got turned away at the Canadian border. Um, I went up, they, they found out I was a wrestler because I wrestled under my real fucking name like an idiot. <laughs> and, uh, I went up and I was like, oh, like, whatever, uh, I'm here, I'm not here to be on the show and, like, you're advertised. <clears throat> and it's like, what's a boner jam? And, like, that's what they kept saying to me. <laughs> and I got, like, turned away, I went to the American side and I'm like, I've been turned away at the border and they're like, you gotta come in. Uh, you go to the border and you come in, the guy's like, all right, you see, you got turned away, da 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 What's a boner jam? Like, oh my god, no, this is, I'm not going to be allowed in America. <laughs> like, you live here now. Yeah, I'm just like limbo over the thousand lakes by like uh, Syracuse and Watertown. No one knows what the fuck I'm talking about, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's like such like a whatever reference. Um, so like... You both had big nights. Uh, <laughs> Mine was no, almost like, spectrum. I would yeah. say we're about here. <laughs> yeah, like, like, it's like, I'm a little under date. Imagine I have PWG Bola, strip club extravaganza, it's going to be phenomenal. <laughs> I I Sold think, out. Yeah. <laughs> Which show do you think melts in your face? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the best. <laughs> we sold out the strip club guys, you know, like, hug. <laughs> and, like, Paul Heyman comes out and is like, you deserve this. And you're like, oh. <laughs> care about us like wrestlers um do you and one was in san diego i i want to wrestle a strip club now i think it was but really fun i did a too. podcast it was so much fun i did a comedy podcast in the strip club once and it was very weird for me because like it was still at, it was open yeah and you know what i mean like they couldn't play music loud because they couldn't have copyrighted music on the podcast right. because it was like actually like a I'll say notable podcast, because that's not really true, but, like, <clears> this <throat> bigger internet radio show before it became, like, podcast. Mm. And uh, I remember they had to keep the music low, so, the, like, the dancers would dance until, like, muffled. You know what I mean? So, like, you can hear the shoes on the, on the, on the stage. Like, <laughs> as they're dancing. Do you hear the clicks? Yeah, like, the, like, it's just, like... <laughs> And you're like, oh, this is really uncomfortable. <laughs> and like, people, like, cough, and you can, like, hear it in the background. Like, oh, coming to the stage, candy. <coughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh man, are you both from LA? No, you're not. I know you're no. not. Are you from LA? Yeah, born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah. Where in LA? Uh, the small town called El Monte, which is like A L M O N T from here. E L space oh, yeah. M O N T. Oh. El, Mo El, Mon El Monte. I won't say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> On the color of loose leaf. I don't, I don't say those things. El Monte. El Monte. <laughs> Where's that? Is El that Monte. El Monte, California? Is that, El Monte, is that by the valley? <laughs> 
It's a one of the valleys. It gets a huge pop at PWG, so. Does it? Yeah, I don't know why. Interesting. <laughs> it's a, I think it's and then, like, people come up to me, and they're like, yeah, I'm on that I present, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I can tell you, Amityville, New York is not going to pop in any part of New York. <laughs> not even Amityville. <laughs> and where are, you from, where are you from initially? Altoona, Iowa. Altoona. Yes. Altoona. I say Des Moines, because... Because people That's, know what Des there's Moines two, is. Yeah, there's two places in Iowa that people know, and it's Des Moines and Iowa City. Yeah, 100%. Okay. And I, I mistakenly believe those two places were very much next to each other. No. Well, actually, they know Davenport now because of Seth Rollins. Well, and that's Dad. closer to Iowa City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, They're an hour and a half apart, which I used to think was a long drive. Now I'm a wrestler. Uh, more dog. <laughs> <laughs> I wrestled in Iowa. I've done it twice for Sammy. And one was in Iowa, near Iowa City at like a country music festival. Sick. It was the wildest night of my life. I bet. I slept in a You think they have anything else to do in Iowa but drink? It was just alcohol and like <laughs> sunburn. That's all it was. Yeah. It was like the weirdest form of Burning Man I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. But just like all these trailers like pile up and then they're like, oh, we got you guys this trailer. I'm like, oh, cool. And you go in. It's, you know, it's a Winnebago. It's nice enough. Like, I'm not going to knock Winnebago's. And like... They're like, all right, you got this bed, this bed, whatever. And they just cranked the AC up in the thing, and you couldn't lower it. And I couldn't figure out how to lower it. Like, it wouldn't go down. And I, like, I understand I work a thermostat. I'm a grown-ass man, but, like, I would raise the thing there. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> um, but I, like, raised it to try and get, like, some heat in there. And boy, oh, boy, did it not get warm. And they didn't give us blankets or pillows or anything. Holy crap. So I'm just, like, laying, like, like starfished out in this, like, little twin bed just, like, <laughs> above the driver's seat because I had that top bunk that, like, pulls that over. And it was, like, you know, you went to bed for, like, an hour and a half, and then you wrestled in this weird country music festival and Sammy Callahan powerbombed Trey Miguel into like all onto all of us off of this the main stage and I've never heard a crowd give less shit about oh, somebody no. potentially dying because like Sounds he like Trey Miguel, <laughs> Trey Miguel goes up and he's like yeah country music sucks and I'm like shut up dick like that's, like, <laughs> that's all he got and Sammy like powerbombed him to the floor were you you were, were you there for that yeah was, yes. was, am I wrong and the crowd was like hey, whatever and they put us in like this hidden building like they had thousands of people there and like no let's put you in this fucking shed yeah it's like, the there's a big, the it's like 100,000 people here this weekend oh that's fucking sick we're putting you in the shed nowhere near any of it yeah. cool <laughs> we actually had to like go out and like get people we were just yeah. like just come in it's free who gives a fuck come on just wrestling come. and we had to like warm up and then I, I got beat up by Jessica Havoc and that was my, my weekend it was, <laughs> it was phenomenal do you miss Iowa or no not really <laughs> <laughs> I like going back because I like my family's there and like nostalgia and I, I literally have Iowa tattooed on my body so like I love Iowa but but meanwhile you're shitting on it publicly <laughs> <laughs> but I would Iowa? never move back <laughs> if I move back to the Midwest it'd be Chicago yeah yeah you like Chicago? I love Chicago. Chicago's uh, it's a cool city. Have you been you've been to Chicago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. recently. Yeah. Oh. What were you there for? It's a second home, I think. Uh I did AAW and I did Rise. Mm-hmm. And yeah. AEW's great. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I never it's so much so fun. Much no, it's like <laughs> it's like Midwest yeah. PWG, I would say. Kind of. Yeah, like I feel like, but the, I I feel like it's almost like the downfall for a lot of indies is people kind of like compared to like the regional PWGs. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like beyond wrestling was like the Northeast PWG. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's not like in, in the respect that like they bring in big indie names, but it's not anything like this environment. Right, like it's, right, PWG right. is its own weird entity. Yeah, like yeah. I can't even like. The fact that they're so they're still so like yeah we're not gonna stream you gotta get here or else you're not seeing the yeah. show like we'll mail you a Blu-ray <laughs> it's like that's, that's as close as you're getting I love that that's my yeah. like do you do you feel do you feel that you, every time you go somewhere new like people are starting to understand who you are now or do you think that you have to kind of like establish it more uh, no I think people are getting more familiar which is kind of crazy. Like, I think it's because of social media. Like, Twitter yeah, yeah, and Instagram yeah, exactly. has helped so much. Like, one person will say something, high, like, will speak highly of you. And then, like, people in, at least one person in, like, each region will see it. And then, like, when you go there, there's at least, like, a little section. Like a pocket. You know, yeah, that yeah. knows who you are. And, like, sometimes that's all the pop that you'll need just to kind of, like, hype you up. And then, you know, you'll have the casual fans who be like, okay, we see you, we see you. And then hopefully by the end, they're like, yeah. oh, okay, this dude's pretty are. legit. Yeah. And that's a cool thing, too, about, like, this, about social... That's a good thing about social... There's always <clears> negatives <throat> to social media, but, like, the good thing about social media is that, like, the small pocket of fans are clapping. Generally, the fans around 
don't like negative react to that response. Mm -hmm. yeah. They kind of go like, oh, why are they clapping? And like they will go along with it. Uh, whereas I feel like it has a very big potential to be in the completely opposite way where they just kind of like, oh, fuck this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you think that, do you attribute that more to like PWG or GCW? Because I feel like GCW is a big thing for you. Um, I think GCW has helped more than... Uh, and I don't, we're not shit on any company by saying that. I'm I think, curious. I mean, I think it's, it's different. Yeah. It's different. GCW just will always, because they stream so much, it's yeah. so much easier to, for people to access, like, it's not even people just talking about it. It's, like, people seeing the GIFs and, like, the videos. Yeah. And, I feel like they're very active on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Social media. The yeah. matches are out, like, quicker, yeah. you know? Like, it's, you can buy the stream. Like, if you missed it, you buy it and it's already on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's easier for me to get my matches and share the clips. As opposed to PWG, where, like, I don't know how to get access. Like the highlight videos. Yeah, yeah. Spots Wrestling yeah. Network has some PWG videos for nine ninety nine. Best nine ninety nine in the business. <laughs> Company man. Company man. <laughs> I gotta, Day knows where his bread is buttered. I'm gonna say. Now you are having like you're branching out more, but you. I feel like you need to. You need to be like a big show on the East Coast. Yeah. Am I like? I feel like I'm like on the cusp out of here. Potentially, of, of potentially being there, but I. Yeah, it's like getting. Getting onto a, a bigger stage to like show what I can do is yeah. like the, the next one. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah the di it's a difficult thing as, as a female wrestler. I feel like because um, people will just use the same girls on yeah. on shows and they won't really branch out to use other girls, which I feel like they're more inclined to use new guys. Yeah, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm sorry, I was swallowing and it's almost like I was disagreeing with you. <laughs> like, he's out This bitch. <laughs> Maybe just don't use Heather Monroe. <laughs> yeah, no, I can, I can understand that. I, I feel like it's an interesting, like, you know, like, I know for, like, uh, as a guy, like, whatever, like, where people are more willing to be like, well, they're popular, so like, let's see what they can do, as mm -hmm. opposed to, like, for you, it's like, well, yeah, but we got a girl over here. Or, like, if if you guys, if we all three rode to a show... Who's more likely to get on it, the guys, rather than like? I was gonna say Jake. Me. <laughs> rather than like they're not, not gonna because yeah, yeah. not a lot of places. Well, a lot more places want to do intergender wrestling now, but like there's not gonna be a lot of just random girls sitting around to like have a oh it has to be a women's match like yeah. you know there's a lot of promotions that will only do women's matches. I, yeah, the the concept of like the the girls' attraction I think is hopefully dying down to me yeah. where it's yeah. like it's more of like the. Um, you're, it's a division, like, the, like there are women in the division of pro wrestling. It's not yeah. like, oh, like oh, we need to have a girls match to make people happy. Like it's like no, yeah, like yeah. they're just wrestlers on the show. Like put them in matches. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why intergender wrestling is good, you sons of bitches, um, <laughs> <laughs> because it takes away the idea of a spotlight match. It makes it just part of the fucking show. Yeah, um, and more opportunities. Yeah, and like you can, you know, I think. I met you through wrestling you at Bar Wrestling, yeah. I think. Well, I think we met you before that, but, like, I met you, we really met, like, wrestling, and it was, like, yeah. you were just in the match. And, like, that's the point. Like, it was, like, well, this is fun. Like, this is way, way better than, like, oh, well, now it's time for the girls' match, and it's, like... Yeah, yeah. So which is what I love about Bar. bar. I was just going to yeah, say that. Like, the women are just integrated in... Yeah, there's no... And it's it's not even, like, the special attraction <laughs> thing. It's, like, yeah. this is just the match, and, like, Heather's just the only girl in the... In the match, that's fine. Well, that was well, a, the most recent show. You were the only girl. I, on the I was the only girl show. on the card, yeah, because <laughs> Joey tried. <laughs> um, he was. He actually did like reach out and be like, "Who else?" Because I right, don't want right. to just have one woman on this, but it just yeah. didn't work out. I, I, well, that was. I think was the match. I, I, if I remember correctly, the match was. It was like me and Bill against you guys, and then we brought in two other like heavy hitters. Right? Yeah. So. The, it was you. It was it was you and Laura against me and Bill, and then you guys brought out Brody. Yeah. So then our response was to bring out Taya, mm. and Taya got like the quote unquote like um, I called the big man pop, where like suddenly <laughs> there's like the big man that comes out like oh shit shit just got real. Like, Brody got that, and then Taya got it way more so. Yeah. <laughs> I, that was my favorite part of that match. Also, uh, Bill and Laura fighting. <laughs> We have such a dark sense of humor that, like, oh, what we no. really wanted to do couldn't have worked in front of the crowd. <laughs> Let me break down exactly. So, we, it, the idea was, like, we were trading shots. So, I think it was, like, me and, was it yeah, me and you? Me and you, Ty and Brody. Ty and Brody, and they were, like, hammering, 
and then Laura slapped his bill, and so this spot we called was that Bill just beats the shit out of Laura as a result of it. But then we realized, like, oh no, that's not gonna work. Like we can't. But like Laura was insistent. She's like, no, 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 I want him like, to attack. Like we wanted me. him to like fucking until we, we pulled him we, off. We were gonna have him like hit her, and then we pull him off, and he's like, no one hits me, and he just keeps coming back. Oh my god. But like the visual was like funny to us, but then it's like also not funny at all. Like when you break <laughs> right, it down, right, like right, people right. watching this, like half of them are laughing, half of them are like, oh no, that's you can't. Fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but like Laura was the one who pitched it, and we were initially ready, and then Bill, Bill and I pulled aside. We're like, we have to talk them out of this. Like we really can't. Also, Laura is five two, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and the tiniest. A, yeah, if she's a hundred pounds because she's holding something. Like, yeah. that's, that's the, only, <laughs> the visual of, of like she hits her once. And we all stop and we look and we grab and pull them up. That was to me funnier, but like Laura could not let go of like, no, like have him mount me and start like beating the shit out of me. <laughs> and like for the rest of the match, every time I'm in the ring, he tags in and tries to chase me out. Because <laughs> I slapped him once and I'm like, no, I don't, we're not going to get away with that. <laughs> we wrestled at bar wrestling too. Yeah, that was my debut. It was a fatal four way, right? Oh, it was yeah. me, you, Cage, and. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't remember. Ryan Taylor. <laughs> you were in the match. Yeah, Ryan Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should remember that because he was like, call, we had the spot call where he was picking me up for a German. And brother, like, I was like, oh, grab me for a German. I'll switch. And he, like, picked me up for shoot every single time. And I was already gassed. And I was like, please let me down. <laughs> <laughs> I need to breathe because I'm a fat piece of shit. I'm, like, trying to, like, fight him off. That was fun, though. I thought no, that was No, that good. was fun. That was my first reverse run I ever gave someone. Oh. He called it. Too. I'm like, you sure? I'm a big boy. And did that? Did you? Did you do right? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it was fine. <laughs> How did this go? <laughs> Sick of shit though. Right? <laughs> I was, it was. That was an interesting match too, because it was like, was that like um, New Year's Eve? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, um, and I was hurt. I was actually really hurt, and I was like taking time immediately off after that match because I had. Uh, oh really? My, I fucked my back up real bad. I uh, hurt and discs and shit like that. Uh, and I couldn't <clears> feel <throat> my leg really. And I was like, so I called the match. I was saying like. I think I re- reduced the number of like back bumps I took because I was like, look, that's gonna hurt me. So I took all head drops, which you know, <laughs> <laughs> safer. And then I thought, like, because I said to Joey, I'm like, I think the original match for that night. I, I was so sad that that match didn't happen. The original match I was scheduled for that night was gonna be like uh, Brian Cage and Melissa, Melissa Santos, uh, Morrison, Delilah, and, uh, Delilah, Delilah and, Eli. and Eli, and then another couple. I think it was Morrison and Taya. Am I wrong? No, I don't think it was them. It was some other wrestling Another couple. couple. Oh, Priscilla and Darby, maybe? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then us. And then it was us. <laughs> but we, but us. we were on a first date, and the match was our first date, and it was like me. Like, I had this visual. I, was, I had, I had like, so, so many ideas yeah, like, that. So just, I know. Yeah, like, oh my God. Just like as the match is going on, be like, so what's your favorite time movie? We just like, <laughs> have like those like first Everybody date kisses, moments. and we're like... <laughs> Like hey, like are we like I and then I was like hoping to the visual was we were, I was obviously losing because I always lose there and I was gonna probably take something and then everyone's gonna leave and my my idea was like the end of the night we just had our first date do they kiss and like I'm like going in for the kiss and then she walks away I just front bump and lay there oh. <laughs> like that's the end of the match and that was like my whole like that'd be hilarious that would have been so I, sick I'm so sad that I think it was because Melissa got hurt Melissa yeah. got hurt yeah. like the week up mm-hmm. and yeah. I was like oh man I'm like that's sad and then instead I wrestled Brian Cage and I was like all right. That tag match would have saved my back, and then Brian Cage is like, "Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna power bomb you, flip it up, <laughs> power bomb you again, and then hit you with my drill claw." And I'm like, "All right, man." <laughs> and I was like, "I'm taking time off after the match, so I can I can hold yeah, off yeah. on it." But yeah, that was fun though. I remember that. I remember like the I I you I remember I had seen your DDT, and mm-hmm, I was like, mm-hmm. "He has to hit the DDT no matter what happens." And then. Bar wrestling is a low ceiling. Like, yes. yeah. Can you do that here? And you're like, yeah, I got it. I'm like, oh, you're good. Because like, okay, yeah. my feet would have kicked those fucking ceiling tiles out. I would have had to pay that bill. That was fun, though. Yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that match a lot. So basically, I'm just responsible for both of your careers launching. Pretty, pretty, pretty much. much. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> Uh, I'm like the Forrest Gump of indie wrestling where like, I'm just somewhat involved in like all these successful things and I'm just kind of the idiot who stumbles in and is just like, oh, stupid is as stupid does and take a reverse run. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's um, your kind of like bucket? Did you, did you go overseas? Nice. I did. Where did you, where, which one I you? did Fight Club Pro. Oh, yeah, yeah Fight Club. In okay. Wolverhampton. Oh, yeah. That's a great and, building. I was just there. Um, so, yeah, it's insane. 
It's insane. I love. Oh yeah, you just did the most recent one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so dope. Did you stay overnight? Mm -hmm. Did you go to the bingo? Yes. Oh, oh bingo is God. amazing. Bingo. American people are so boring. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus, that it bingo was, was uh, the craziest <clears throat> fucking thing I've ever been to in my life. Uh, you need for first off, just get booked in England. Secondly, <laughs> I'll do that. Let me just make a call. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, just, just say I'll be there for a month, and people will be like, "Oh, well, yeah, they'll use you for sure." Yeah, my um, sister lives over there, so where she lives in Reading. Okay, so like right outside of London. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean it's not close to Wolverhampton, but it is. Well, close you can to... get anywhere on a train there. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like a two-hour train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, it they so so bingo. I'll have you describe it. Describe it's bingo. like. It's like a club, like EDM. Everyone's going crazy, yeah. drinking, like light, like li like a rave. Yeah, it's like a rave bingo. It it's is. insane. And it's, it was drink, so fun. Did you drink hooch? I think so. I don't remember what. It's it like was. that fruity alcohol. Yes, 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 yes. So good. They call it. So they call good. it hooch. Drink something besides a Long Island. <laughs> yes, yes. No, but like, but, so <laughs> I don't. That happened. I drink Jameson only. Like I'm really like a whiskey guy, and like that's kind of a lot. They're like, no, you have to drink hooch. Mm -hmm, and I'm like, mm -hmm. hooch? Who the fuck wants to drink? I got so hooch drunk. It was the best time of my life. No, was, it was oh so my God. fun. But like in the middle of like this dance party, it's like, okay, bingo. And you just sit back down <laughs> and then you go back and play yeah. bingo. And then it's like, oh, 66. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> okay, okay. And, and if you, so if you call bingo... Um, Some girl had to get taken to the hospital when I went because she was, she was on, or is it every time? Because they're, they're benches. Oh, so like some, they get on the benches and then sometimes, you know, people don't get on the benches. It's just one person and she fell like completely just over. More than one person. They like escort her out and then everyone's just like, oh, 64. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it never ends, but it's like, um, they, there was the one. People, the more they drink, don't understand that, like, a bench is, like, two legs and then a, a thing that goes <laughs> yes. past it. So they just stand on the edge of the bench and the and bench just, just comes yes, up exactly. and they eat shit. <laughs> Solid. And then <laughs> if, you, if you call bingo and you don't have bingo, did you see any of those? Who would call bingo? Oh, yes, yes, yes. They call her a dickhead. dickhead. And yeah. then they would Photoshop celebrities with actual penises on their heads. <laughs> but, like, very graphic descriptions. Yes, 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 yes. Will Smith, you see, I don't know if you saw any of them, but like one of them was like Will Smith, and it's like the perfect penis head I've ever seen on a celebrity. <laughs> they had Donald Trump, and it was like an uncircumcised one. Like it was like this whole, it was oh, all right. so amazing. Probably one of the best nights of my life. Yeah, it was so <laughs> much fun. Oh my god. Okay, I'll go ahead and get booked then, I guess. Well, you know, that's the, like, the, it's funny because it's like, you know, somebody who's like uh, on there, it was like move, making moves, somebody who's like kind of on the cusp, it's like, that's kind of like the risk that like indie wrestlers take. Right. It's like, Hey, like I'll be there for a month, and if you can stay with your sister, well, I don't know. I, 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 also have a shoot job. I think you have a shoot job. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of hard to be like. Be and I have to like completely quit my. Well, actually, they might give me a week or a month off. Well, if you take two chill. weeks, if you take two weeks and you can time it right, and like you fly out like on a Friday night and you get there for Saturday. Because they group a lot of their events too. Yeah. Like OTT and Fight Club Pro that's, always group. Oh, you did OTT also. Mm -hmm. That's my, literally my favorite company. Yeah, yeah, yeah right it now. was so I, much fun. I, it was. Their crowds are phenomenal. And they're just um, kind of a blast. And I, I think Triple H is listening to something incredibly loud. I can kind of hear it in the background. <laughs> wow. So like, Triple H comes wow. out. Wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have okay. a lot of WWE guys who come and watch the show. Uh, so like Triple H. Uh, Thanks, I'm very nervous right now. Yeah, Canyon Seaman was here the other day. Uh, big talent scout. Nobody, if you don't know who he is, then whatever. That's just an like inside baseball reference that no one cares about. Um, but yeah, OTT. Uh, which did you do National Stadium or did you do? I did. Were you in Dublin or were you outside of Dublin? I was in Belfast. Belfast. Okay. Yeah. So it was the Europa Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Europa Hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I don't, I've never done the 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 Belfast shows, Jake. I think someone's here. Um, uh, I've never done the Belfast show. Like I've always wanted to do a Belfast show. We're not a professional. Like we're just gonna. <laughs> this isn't gonna get edited. Um, <laughs> 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 I almost wanted to follow you with the camera. <laughs> there was uh, some uh, uh, 
streetwalkers who have rented the room out next door who have been having appointments uh, the whole time we've been here. That's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. It. So oh, if you cool. if you guys are interested, um, Maybe. again, if I could just make way more money, <laughs> <laughs> line of work. I would, I'd make less. I'd be in <laughs> employment. I wouldn't want to charge somebody and let them down. I'd be the <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anywho, <laughs> but yeah, no, like those those like kind of like gambles are like the weird ones that like when I was coming up people would be like no you never fly yourself so I'm like wait for them to fly you and it's like now that I'm like an older wrestler it's like no like if you had to take two weeks like just go somewhere yeah. like you know, especially if you can go to like London you can like train in one of the schools for the week and like see show yeah. people and like you know um, send your matches over and be like can I get on this like if any word of mouth stuff that's like 100%. a place to stay is king like I can't describe that enough to you yeah. like I have family in Ireland so like if I ever like go over to see my family it's almost like you gotta do it <laughs> hey, hey Joe do you have a booking hotel because I'm going to see my, my in-laws oh yeah, yeah yeah it's like uh it's fun though um and they're also connected over there. Like, it's not like here. Like, they're yeah. all supportive of each other. Like, the promotions. Mm -hmm. Like, I was talking to, um, uh, Zaleski. What's his Dead name? <laughs> Fight Club Pro, uh, Mark? Mac. Mac. Oh, Mac. Um, and he was, uh, um, he was always saying, like, there's a group chat amongst all of them. And they're always like, hey, so-and-so's in so, town. Well, yeah, boom, to, like, boom, bring boom, the boom, same, boom, boom. like, yeah, bring people know? over together. Yeah, that's that's happened to me for, for, like, I just did a fight club in an OTT. It was like, I, I was booking an OTT. And then uh, Zachy hit me up. He's like, hey, talk to, talk to Joe. And Joe says, uh, you know, uh, you're here. You want to just come over to us for the for two days? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I was like, and then I'm like, oh, you want me to get like another show for that Saturday? He goes, no, you're going to bingo. I'm like, what? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. They're booked on that. Yeah, because it was like another show that was like around the corner that reached out to me. And I was like, oh, like, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Like, me, I'll ride with Session Mom and we'll just go and whatever. He's like, no. You have he's to like, he's like, I, you're not. No. You're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you're not. <laughs> you need to see this. And now I'm never going to do a Saturday booking in England ever no, again. No, this you gotta go to bingo. Over here, then go to bingo. That's what you gotta do. You gotta okay. figure out. Noted. But like, <laughs> yeah, that's that weird. That weird, like... And like, a, yeah, like, right. You, so no, funny. but you know, but there's that, that's the... Um, there's a couple of people who have been like that. Like, I always said, like, John Silver from the Beaver Boys. Like, he was somebody that was, like, almost, like, always on the cusp of doing something cool. And, like, he just kept getting nowhere. Because it would be like, he'd get there, he'd get there, he'd get there, and then something would happen. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, he was a PWG, and they were doing PWG stuff. And then it's like, oh, the Ring of Honor guys got their contract released, and they're allowed to wrestle a PWG now. It's like, well, now we don't need John Silver anymore. It's like, oh, oh man. Like, oh and it's like, God. he was, like, right there. One of my favorite PWG matches ever was you, you Team Tremendous versus the Beaver Boys. It was like, the, I still remember parts of that match. Josh Barnett talks to me about that match. I and that's the weirdest thing in the world to me. I loved that match. Barnett, so, like, we wrestled on our knees for the first, like, three that minutes. That was and amazing. Josh <laughs> Barnett literally was, like, at the show. And if you know anything about it, he's, like, a very, like, wrestling is wrestling mm -hmm. and he loved it i was like you liked it he goes yeah i mean it's not wrestling it's just entertainment it's so good. <laughs> i'm like all right it, well, made, it also it. was like that's the style that i have always liked of like comedy that can also like your comedy and then you can be serious yeah right and that's always been the line that i wanted to toe yeah 100 percent. and, and yeah. so it's like and as i was like that's i can do it and then yes, he was yes, like yes, this yes, is yeah. the thing that yeah yeah it was like i think you you were as you were you there with like laura you were there like i was there room? with actually it was it was when me and brody were still training i went we went uh with his wife and then uh it was when we were still training we weren't even like yeah, yeah you weren't wrestling, wrestling yet yeah. so we we were just sitting in the crowd like learning who people were learning what like what was going on and it was like my maybe first or second pwg show don't give up. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Fight forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. told me that was the day that made him realize he could really do wrestling because he wanted to wrestle like Bill. Yeah, I was like, we talked about that yeah. afterwards, yeah. And I said, I said like out loud, I'm like, so Bill Carr is responsible for Brody King. <laughs> you realize he could do more than like 
bigger bands. Yeah, 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 and that's like the best part about like I don't know, like that's the cool thing about PWG too is like you randomly will like we get to do that and it's like on a grand stage you people be like oh fuck that's awesome I could do that like that's a great idea yeah. like not like steal the gimmick but like the concept of what's happening you be like dude that's I'm in like I can do that and then yeah. you carve your own little mm-hmm. your own little path mm-hmm. out of that and that's yeah. Peter Bichu was so influential to me, like, in 2001. I mean, uh, earlier in pro wrestling, I don't want to say 2001, but, like, like, 2004, 2005, 2006, like, like as I was in wrestling, you see, like, these clips, you're like, dude, like, I wish I could do that. Like, and you start, like, coming up to it. So, like, Peter Bichu's been one of those, like, weirdly influential. Like, yeah. it's the reason progress wrestling exists. Nobody knows that. I didn't know that, yeah. Jim Smallman literally told me yesterday. It's like, if it wasn't for PWG, Progress wouldn't exist. We watched oh, Pro- wow. PWG and we're like, we want to do this. Oh, wow. And they became Progress. Progress. And it's like... That's insane. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And for, I mean, like, as a SoCal boy, like, you see, like, like your home promotion. I don't say home promotion, but, like, your local, local group. It's, like, a different animal. That's why I don't like saying, like, the PWG of, of Northeast. Yeah. yeah. It's because it's just, like, PWG's its own weird yeah, animal. It's, it's, it's like, yeah. it became this, like, kind of, like cultural phenomenon which it yeah, really like I yeah. mean like in the grand scheme of the world no but like you know like uh, seeing what's your face uh, from a modern family at a wrestling show oh, yes, like, yes, like, oh my god you know who was there on um, Thursday I was so mad at myself Matilda yes, Mara I Wilson spoke with I spoke with her too Tony and I spoke with her and we had no idea who she was she looks like no, but so, we, she looks the she same. She was still. not recognizable. Yeah, a little bit. Though, oh, like, maybe in pictures. I've you, never seen yeah. her in real life. I, no, I, in pictures, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> someone tweeted. That's how I found out on Twitter the next morning, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I spoke to Brie. Maybe it's for the best. <laughs> well, I wanted to take a picture. I would have taken oh, a picture yeah, with true. her. Like, I wanted to walk up because she's like iconic. Like Matilda's, like you know, like that's iconic. So. You think Matilda? I was like, "What was it like working with Beethoven?" <laughs> that's, 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 like, but like, yo, you were Mrs. Doubtfire. Like, that's the best movie I've ever. Like, I wish that like I had more of a conversation with her because like she seems like interesting, but like at the same token, I don't want to be like, oh, I loved you as a kid. Like, yeah. that's the weirdest thing you could say. That was so funny because I was talking to her like she was. I was like, so where are you from? Like, and she's like, oh, I was lived in New York for eleven years, <laughs> and now I'm a Valley girl. I'm, I'm sure she's like, okay with that. Though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I think the, I think the less conversation about like who she was at one point in her life is probably the best. Yeah. At yeah. some point where you can kind of be like, oh, you're normal. Like, let's have normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was like for me. Like uh, Barnett was a big one because that was our debut. Like I saw Josh Barnett and I was like. What? What's Josh Barnett doing here? And like, and then you realize, like, in my head, I'm like, oh yeah, he's like, I went to New Japan Dojo, and like all this stuff. And like, you had that conversation, but like, PWG was my like, oh shit, like actual like celebrities watch pro wrestling mm-hmm. in a fucking American Legion Hall. Like, mm-hmm. this is amazing to me. I'm trying to think who else like was there that um, that girl Brody Ta- met her. Um, Tabanga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tabanga yeah. came in one of the shows. Um, one of, one of those 90s boy heartthrobs was at one of the shows the other, not that long ago, too. I've seen it at Bar, too. There's been mm-hmm, a couple mm-hmm. like that. I feel like Bar kind of messed up. Herman went to one, didn't he? Yeah, oh, P.B. Yes, Herman, Macaulay Culkin. Culkin, well, Culkin. Like, <laughs> I, I, of course, missed the Macaulay Culkin one, because that would have been the one. Grace Hobig like, came to one, too. Really? Yeah. It's it's because it's kind of that vibe where you don't have to be a wrestling fan to like yeah, enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah, which is I think well, another thing that PG, PWG had where it was like pure wrestling, but like normal people could walk in. Yeah, and be like, this is fucking great. Yeah, pitches of beer tend to help with that. By the way, uh, alcohol tends to lend itself yes. to. Yeah, and I, well, actually, they don't really. I guess there's there was definitely standing room at Reseda. But I think like having a, a venue where you have to stand and yes. like, be present helps yeah. too. Yeah, but it, I mean, I know for me, like I would never do it because I'm old and I don't want to stand. For <laughs> <laughs> but like that that environment of like where you can hit the ring and yeah. that, or that like um, live feel where you have to like move. Mm-hmm. Like if shit's happening, it's like, oh shit, like get out of the way. Toy, yeah. That's that's close. What's what's your favorite places either of you have wrestled? City, company, whatever. Like, and I don't need to be like, shit other places but like what's a city that or a place that surprised you with the vibe that you had (laughs) I would have to say Defy up in uh, or I did the Portland show yeah yeah. Um, they're really hot like the fans over there and I think it's because they uh, someone was telling me this the other day like they're they vote they've been dead for so long like the area they didn't have yeah. good wrestling 
and you know we've had, we have PWG. There's like it's everywhere else but there. Yeah. And now they do, and now they have Defy. So like, whenever they're there, they appreciate it. So they're so loud for everything through every match. Like they don't die. You yeah. Know? Like even if every match is crazy, they're like. Who cares? Like, we never yeah. had this. Like, yeah. so now they... We might not have this for another three months. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's spend our energy right now. Mm. So that's one that stands out to me. Heather? I'm trying to think, but, like, my favorite place to wrestle, period, is bar yeah. because of that Because of that environment. Yeah, that, like, it's such a supportive crowd that's just there to have fun. And they're, like, you can do silly bullshit or you can, like, have a very serious match and they're going to appreciate all of it. They're there yeah. for it. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're there they for stay, it all. They're here for the show and not for the, the style. So to yeah, speak. exactly. I wrestled at a prison once and that was, like... I mean, did I did wrestle really? at a strip club yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite. I mean, <laughs> what's, your, what's your weirdest venue? Weirdest venue? Um, prison. Prison's, prison for me is mine. Rikers Island. That's prison. Yeah. I don't know if we've had a weird... Weird than you. Um, you need to get out. I know. <laughs> How embarrassing. Yeah. He didn't have a I've never, <laughs> never wrestled in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to think on that one. Where have I wrestled that's like weird? Um, you might just have a normal ass yeah. wrestling. Like, that's fine <laughs> too. Be nice. Like, I, I, I wrestled at a prison and it was like there was an g- armed guard outside the ring as I'm wrestling. And I'm like, this is weird. I don't know if I. I've changed to the U-Haul. I don't know. That's, that. the, that's like the Indies wrestling state <laughs> standard. Yeah. Or like passing the bucket around so you can all have somewhere to sit when you're changing. Mm-hmm. Which means everyone's bare-ass the same seat, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Um, I used that. That was a locker room, too, was a U-Haul. Mm-hmm. Where that, it's yeah. like where they just put a curtain up. In the yeah, way. no, legit. And you yeah. walk down that slippery slope like, to get oh down to the ring. My parents live in a retirement community. Hell yeah, they do. And they want to bring... A wrestling show to that, so that could be <laughs> real interesting. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> yeah, I'm like okay, yeah, I'll put that together. You're like in a hole, like you're working, and like, what's his name again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did he say? That's Kristen's kid. That'd be great. Your mom's name is Kristen, by the way. It's though. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> yeah, tomato. Yeah. Crazy Mary. <laughs> and they live in Iowa still? No, they're in Arizona. Oh, Arizona. My, the rest of my family's still in Iowa, but Mesa, Arizona. I don't know if that's true. No, I just wanted to say true, it's town. close. I was trying to think of a town remember <laughs> off the top of my head. Do, do your family still here, Jake? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my family is still I mean it's just my mom and my brothers. Most of my family's in Mexico. That's a, that's a family, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, no, <laughs> you know, no, 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 family. Like, like moms, aunts, uncles, and cousins. I don't have them here. Oh, yeah, they're, they're in yeah, Mexico? Mexico, yeah. That's cool. Do you go to Mexico a lot, or is it... I used to when I was a kid, uh, but not anymore now. Have you I've done to wrestle there. Yeah. And TJ. Okay, so, yeah, cool. That's cool. We wrestled there. Yeah. We, 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 we had a... Uh, funny. A six man. In, uh, it's like eight. At tri- it was an eight person. Triple A. Yeah, it was yeah, triple A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hilarious. That, that was, was an, an experience. Interesting. Because he was the only one. Uh, so there was three English speakers and uh, three Spanish speakers, and he speaks Spanish, but he is not used to calling matches in mm-hmm. Spanish. So he was like sitting there, like. Uh, and they were just like calling the whole thing, like telling us what we're gonna do, and then he had to translate it. But like it was, very I had to stressful. find the words, you know. Yeah, just... because some some stuff is there's some words like wrestling lingo that yeah. I don't know how to translate into Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah like... And then likewise, like whatever they're saying, I'm like I'm trying to figure out what 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 that, you could have possibly yeah to tell her. Yeah, and then um. But it ended up working. It ended up finding we did a spot together, so it was like yeah. We'll, oh yeah, we were against each other. Yeah, we were against each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was like okay, we'll we'll get that together. But that's like the the language barrier. I wish I need to learn how to speak Spanish. That's yeah. I've actually like, said that too. It's just like, living here in general, I should. I, I used to speak it actually pretty well, and then you once you stop speaking, if you're not like a native speaker, it's gone. You don't you don't even have it anymore. And for yeah. me, it was like I can kind of if someone's speaking to me in Spanish, I can understand what they're saying mm-hmm. I can break it down to a point where I get the general understanding of what they're saying but if somebody was calling a match to me I would never yeah. the only reason I'd be a little okay with it is if uh, anybody started calling like Tejeras and like things like that I'm like mm-hmm. oh we said heads yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I can start like piecing it together but there's certain things that like 
they're interchangeable. Train with Quackenbush, you'll learn it all, like, what they say, because apparently he calls everything by their actual, like, uh, Mexican Technical wrestling name. Yeah, like, well, that's why we have Los, Los yeah, Luchas yeah, class yeah, on yeah. Tuesday nights, and they, they'll call it by the Spanish name. They'll call the yeah. spot in Spanish and then tell us what the spot mm-hmm. is. So yeah. it's like... That's, so you can hopefully like learn. I, by I can I can like yeah. hear some stuff and be like, oh, that's familiar. I, familiar. I, I know what that means. I was at training the other day with Alec and um, one of our students, and I we were working on the fly, and I was like wheelbarrow or something, and he stopped. He's like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, oh, Casadora. Well, if I say Casadora, <laughs> people don't know what I mean half the time. Like. What do, well, what do, I know, we, but it's what do other like, people call like, it? We, yeah. do, we say <laughs> yeah. no, but you know what? Like, I, like even like I know what that is. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. Like you know, again, wrestling with like the Chikar guys, like that's how they would call. It. They would yes. call it wheelbarrow. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like real barrel. Um, I used to have a guy like. Or like bandera. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, like it's like uh, you know, it's also like up and over, but it's yeah. like bandera, like same thing, and it's like bandera, like flag. Like you're just trying to like mm-hmm. figure out why, and then in my head, I'm like, why do they call it a flag? Yeah. <laughs> Just whatever. Um, and then um, uh, Piscato. That's another one. Like Some dives are like The Piscato. house show, yeah. Yeah, the house show is a Piscato. And then um, Tope, mm-hmm. Tope Con Hilo. Mm-hmm. And you start like piece, piecing it together. Alita. Like, yeah. Yeah. like things yeah. I'll call me like, oh, it's, uh, what do you normally call it? Like, <laughs> what do people outside of, outside of here call it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, trying to break it down so yeah. like... And then you, then you're like, oh, this guy doesn't know. Anymore. <laughs> yeah, like, I just know there's another word, but I've never called it that word. So like, what's that word? Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, Is there um, uh, what's the one wrestling move that like people call to you frequently, where you're like, oh fuck this move, I don't want to take this move or do this move. Like, but I still take it because there's moves that I like. I'm just terrible uh, at that I won't take. Bump. <laughs> just, <laughs> any bump. <laughs> oh, uh, I can't do that. Uh, a choke slam. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. Those, those can be. Those can be brutal. Yeah. Unless you do, I do like that. I've done the Hogan choke slam where it's like. I'm so bad at because I I think I'm getting height and then I watch it and I'm like, God, that was terrible. Yeah, but wrestling fans generally don't notice that you even really. I know. Jump. That's yeah. For me, it's like any face bump. I don't know why. Oh, I prefer, no, I'm with, I you. I'm with you. I don't know why. I just I it's it's always inconsistent. It's always like I'm always either landing chest first and then yeah. this weird recoil. Yeah, like, like the like the yeah, like you're or, doing the or, or the other way and I'm like pfft, like at any face bump scares the shit. I, I, I love to put my knees face up. Bumps. I know. I <laughs> love face bumps. That's my I'd rather be able to see where I'm going. <laughs> oh here we go. Yeah, instead of like, oh I hope that I don't kill myself. <laughs> when you learned the face bump, did you learn like this or did you learn like this? I learned uh, the, this one, like, like this, and then the Japanese, oh, the Japanese way yeah, I learned after yeah, that. Cheerleader like, Melissa was like, "You don't need to do that because you don't have balls, so you yeah. can just land." You just can fire. land your butt. <laughs> I have yeah. like the dead body one, or like the body. Well, you like the, this, like yeah, this, yeah. right? I sleep like that now, <laughs> and I can't not sleep like that to the point where, like, when I turn to face the other side, it's just a shift, and it's just this. That's all I end up doing. Um, but I hate. That bump, I won't. I don't like taking it. I always end up like putting my knees down and taking mm-hmm. like the cane bump, mm-hmm. or I just straight leg it and hurt my nuts literally every <laughs> time. And you like take that like super big like front bump, and you're like I hurt so much. <laughs> and, you go over, and you get pinned. No, I. The one that I, I, you ever see that like belly to back and then they throw you forward? You know what I'm talking about? What's like they pick oh, you like up, pick you up uh, here and then, and then they forward? just sit out and sit yeah. out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have never successfully taken that without getting injured. Wow. Ever. In my entire wrestling I don't think career. anyone's tried to do that with me. That was like the, uh, maybe it was like it's a big gonna thing It's going to happen probably like, soon. Though. Yeah, so I was like, oh, I do this thing where I go like, <laughs> but like every time I've done it, they I either like hit my, like I, I busted my face up, I dislocated my shoulder, I oh broke my, my ankle. I've never <laughs> taken that successfully. So anytime somebody calls them, I'm like, you know, I don't think I, no. I don't want to ever do yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. let's call it something else. <laughs> <laughs> Or like the pop up, like the fucking pancake. It's, it's another one. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, me too. I'm like no, I'm like uh, how much? I'll just take a back body, and they're like, what? I'm like I'd rather that bump than the other. Back body drop is the one bump I will never take. Why? Because I'm so bad at it. <laughs> I like I'm like you don't want me to take your back body drop. Like trust me. <laughs> Give me an hour and you'll be taking oh, the best no. back body drops you've ever taken. I mean, I could probably do it better now than when I actually like learned how to take it, but I learned it with fucking Brody. Oh, and he's Brody asked, he, he's not like nice where he'd be like, okay, just a little bit over. He's like, I'm going to fully Boom. stand up and push you over me. So I'm like, I can never. Based off the shoulders, not the arm. <laughs> oh, the trick. Tr- and I tried you- 
everything. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, the mad, I'm the magician of getting people to take good back bodies and doing moonsaults. Those are the two things I can get people I can, doing I, relatively quickly. Yeah, the back body drops, the one thing. Like, someone suggested, and I was like, dude. I'll figure something else. I feel like people think that, like, the other thing about back bodies is that people think, like, I think as much height as possible. And it's like, not really. Like, no one, only certain people get that super height, and that's, like, a big bump for them. Yeah. Like, most of the time, it's a, a bump that you take, and then you take something else. Mm-hmm. So just take a regular, like, a fucking monkey flip. Just do a little <laughs> monkey flip. Let them push your legs, hurt your butt a little bit, and go, like, oh, that was That was the thing I would land on my ass. It would never be, like. That happened to us when I was trying to give you the tilt the world DDT. You were popping me up. So much on that. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I ended up bulldogging you. Yeah. Well, I which I turned into a move that I started doing, so it worked Another out. Another thing. <laughs> I would, because I, I like the pop, and I was like, you know, oh, give yeah, it a yeah, little yeah. pop and let her cat to take a big one for her. And I kept saying, like, yeah, like, just stay flat. Yeah. And somehow when I toss her, the legs would come around, and she'd be like this weird, like, I would sit on like my ass. spinning. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> I, I could not figure out how she was doing it. Like, to this day, I'm still like, what where did that come from because i was like i was trying to push her hips just so she turned and yeah. then as i look up like her legs were suddenly there she's like, <laughs> <laughs> i'm like well, i guess it's a bulldog and it's fun it worked it, worked out. <laughs> it got a pop and then now you use it all the time yeah. so it's, it's really I like bring that and now you do no poison ranas yeah now i'm doing poison yeah, ranas thank you dan influencing our i mean technically set. thinking back <laughs> on it you did really influence me with that match with the beaver boys oh, God damn right i did god damn it. I'm a legend. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, I'm scared. <laughs> is there, um, what's your, what's your, what's your next goal? Like, what's your, both of you? Like, I, I know that you've done England, you've done, the, you've done Ireland now, now it's like, all right, where's my next step? And what's your next step? I, yeah, the next step I would say is getting out of, uh, SoCal more often. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm starting a little bit to branch out into Texas and stuff like that, but I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to like, I'm, I want to be in different places and like on, um, just in front of more people. 100%. Pretty much. I want to hit some of like the Canada promotions, like mm-hmm. C4. I'm booked in um, Vancouver uh, for ECCW in oh. January. Nice. Um, but like Smash, I think that's more on the that's east by side me. of. That's been me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not by me, it's eight hours from me, but it's like, that's New York. That's close. Yeah. <laughs> that's a close. Maybe wrestling is close drive. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like uh, C4 Smash, because I've done Mexico. I've done, I mean, obviously, I want to go back to those places, but yeah, yeah. I'm, those are stuff I haven't done, so that's definitely on my radar. I think there's a point where, like, you also have to come to terms with, like, you know, um, and it's anywhere in wrestling where it's like, yeah, like, I love doing my home promotion, but, like, I can't do it anymore. I mm-hmm. gotta do other things. Like, there's, yeah, there's a few promotions in SoCal that I don't do anymore. Yeah, well, and it, it's always And they always been, get mad at you, which yeah, is hilarious yeah. to me. It's always been a thing that it's hard to get out of SoCal. Yeah. So, like, being able to watch him and Brody kind of make it out is, like, and, like, Peter, and, like, now these all these people, like, Sky and all them, they're finally, like, getting yeah, yeah, to be on branching. a bigger stage. That it's like, okay, no, you can, we can do it. Like, people, yeah, there's more possible. eyes on it now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's very possible to I felt bad because, like, so, like, CZW, when it first started, was bringing in a lot of SoCal guys. Or not even first started, but it was, like, when it was getting bigger, it started bringing out SoCal guys and using them a lot more. And then I guess, like, the indie wrestling, I was like the indie wrestling bubble burst, but it's, like, like wrestling went into a huge slump. And, like, then no California guys were coming yeah. to New York. And it's, like, I see B-Boy all the time. And it was like, mm-hmm. then it was like, well, now you don't see him anymore. And so now when I see him, it's like, I haven't seen him in like a hundred years. You like say hello, whatever. Yeah. But like, it's, there was that weird phase where like suddenly like no more SoCal guys were yeah. Like you had Super Dragon, you had Excalibur, you had Scorpio Sky, you had like all these guys coming in and then suddenly it was like, meh, we're done. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think there's a new, a new boom of that happening and like there's flights are cheaper now too (laughs) 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 but yeah now now that there's more people coming out then there's more eyes on it yeah so it's it's helping a lot i think i and whatever i think pwg really helped that with like Mm -hmm. bringing in people who are not from socal and then the people who are not from socal see like socal talent and go like oh you guys gotta start using these people Mm -hmm. like that's kind of how it blossoms out like and now the age of the internet, I can just Google it exactly. real quick and yeah. be like, oh, there they are. They're awesome. Yeah, bring them out. Like, whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's why every wrestler should have a music video, and you should all make one, because <laughs> that's the only way you're going to get noticed. Pr- promoters don't watch matches, for the record. That's the truth. Yeah. That's, why gifts, be, that's why gifts are good. Gifts, gift wrestling is, like, the thing now. Like, where everyone's like, oh, like, 
Look how good they are in this gift. Which is why it's hard for a character. <laughs> <laughs> I, de- I bust out shooters because it's just like, I'll do shooting star press. I'm like, no one can hear my personality through this gift. Like, yeah. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. Oh, no. I'm everything I hate now. <laughs> what's, what's your pet peeves in wrestling? Mm. Be honest, like, don't well, feel I, like you can't say like, No, but oh. I'm t- I, like, genuinely, nothing came to mind right now. Yeah, like, for so. real, like, fuck diamond cutters. That's how I feel. I'll say that oh. right now. Oh, fuck them, I we, when we talked about... Everyone does them. The thing I we talked like about three. earlier, the thing... Like, they did, did, like, three yesterday. <laughs> no, but, like... No, but you know what I mean? I'm not saying, like, fuck people who do diamond cutters. It's just at some point, it's like, I've seen so many... Same thing Canadian stories, where it's like, I've seen so many of them that I'm like, <clears throat> all right, like, let's do something new. Like, I want to, you know, whatever. And I find, like, my pet peeve. But I also, like understand like it gets popped it's a good move it's effective it does what it's supposed to do uh front rolls into anything i also hate i was gonna say unnecessary setups so like, wrestling no no like <laughs> like the thing that we talked about earlier with the like put on the shoulders so oh, yeah, yeah. he's right here yeah. i mean i just did thank you Heather. <laughs> or like the roll like roll into something and it's like you they didn't have to do but that then, like, <laughs> like, but then like phoenix will do it and he'll do like the biggest jump into the biggest diamond cutter and it's a huge pop and it's like yeah maybe i don't like it but like it's not affecting anyone else like right. it's just like i have like that weird but you would never do it no i would never but do other it. people can do it in like whatever yeah it's like fine with <laughs> me but it's like a peppy of mine where it's like i'll take it from you i'll just never do it like today yeah. i'll never you'll never see dan barry do a canadian destroyer because it's just like i don't really everyone does them yeah. Why am I going to do it? Like, what's going to make me different than somebody else doing it? It's like, oh, it's going to be slower. Like, that's like, really, <laughs> that's the only thing that's going to happen with me. My tab Bill does the Canadian Destroyer, and it's like, he's like, yeah, I'm going to try to do a Canadian Destroyer. I'm like, do you need to? Like, you do, like, big super power slams. I'm going to do a Canadian Destroyer. It's like, all right, Bill, you're going to do a Canadian Destroyer. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like one of those things. Yeah. So what's your pet peeve? Um, man. Old wrestlers complaining about Diamond Crows. No, 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 no. Uh, character wrestlers being mad about character stuff. Wrestle, character wrestlers <laughs> hating fucking athletic talent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I my biggest pet peeve is people who don't train their strikes. Oh, dude! Mm. Like, dude! Like, I'm a huge like, like when I don't know like strikes need to be good if you're gonna throw them. Yeah, if like, you're gonna if you're you gonna know? hit someone like yeah. if you're gonna make it like you're hitting someone, yeah. it should be like you don't have to. No, no, him, obviously, yeah. but like you make should. it look, sure. make it look. Good. Nothing will like, take you out of a match quicker than, than a exactly. shitty strike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was saying uh, that there are people who their whole career, their whole character is like shoot wrestler or like striker, and you can tell they've never mm-hmm. like if you had spent the time to like actually learn how to strike and shoot wrestle, you'd be a better wrestler in the same amount of time, mm-hmm. yeah. and there'd be an authenticity to it. Whereas now it's just like. There's one dude who's like, I'm a shoot wrestler, and I was saying the other day, uh, it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot the go behind, and I'll, I'll give you a German, quick German, and like the, the go behind is that like drop to a knee, let them pass you, grab, and you're like, oh, fuck, you don't even know what you're doing, like you get like really yeah. mad about it, <laughs> but like yeah, shitty strikes, that's that's up there too. Yeah, that's like my biggest thing, especially when they try to do like a chop spot. And it's like you can barely hear it, or like it's. Well, like... not everyone has meat hands. <laughs> no, look, look at those catches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's my biggest thing, and like, yeah. and then that they, and then that they don't take the time to like get better, get better at them. Yeah, you know, hundred percent, I agree with that. That also could come from our school because we're really big on that, <laughs> you know. But so. no, but like that's the same. Like you know, I get it. Like for me, like um, uh, Mikey Whipwreck was my trainer. He's like. His big thing are like crisp bumps. It's like if you don't take a crisp bump on something, don't take the bump. Like just yeah. fucking get out of there. Like if you can't make it look good every single time you're taking it, don't bother doing it. He had like his rules and like you know it's like a clothesline is a clothesline. It's never like a you know like oh hit my arm and you're yeah. running. Like there yeah. better be something behind it. Otherwise, mm-hmm. yeah. you know we didn't learn to throw a clothesline by holding our arm out. We learned to throw a baseball over the shoulder and throw the fucking baseball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like so if you ever Same. see my clothesline, like you hit, you hit the head here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, <laughs> or like the other one was punched next to the head. Yeah. So it's yeah. like. Those two things, and it's like, so if you ever, like, my clotheslines, like, they're contact. I'm never, you're mm-hmm. never seeing, like, a little, eh, like, mm-hmm. there's always, like, like meat, because it's, like, that's how I was taught to clothesline, yeah. so. I don't know, same thing with chops. If you're gonna chop, you better fucking chop. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. it hurts either way. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, like, it, it's either gonna make a noise or it's gonna suck, and it's like, yeah. they both hurt, so. Yeah. What's your... Your pet peeve, which your biggest one? No, no, but like, which aside from the one I told you about before, <laughs> but I agree with that. <laughs> I, I get it, Heather. If I see that in the if I see it in the match, I'm like, 
What's except the point? Jake Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, but what was the point? <laughs> I have this new spot, so I'll get him, uh-huh. I'll toss him out, I'll duck, you kick him. Yeah, yeah. Does that, that makes work? That actually makes more <laughs> sense. Like, that's like, he's setting it up for somebody else to do it, rather than like, I'm going to put you here and then set you down and then I'm going to kick you. <laughs> like, Man. <laughs> yeah. But then like, Ricochet does it. Ricochet does the same thing. I, it, it's like that pop off yeah. kick and it's like, it never it, makes sense know, to me. But like in the same token, like, He's very successful. I don't think it makes someone unsuccessful. I just, I'm just i always like, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ha- yeah. I'm also very inside it, so I'm like, mm-hmm. it, logically to me, I'm like, I'm always like, w- what makes sense? Like, I, yeah, I have like, and I also have like ones where it's like, like, um, walking, cutting a promo, like if you're cutting a promo in the ring and you're just walking, walking around. Walking around? Mm. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it so much. Certain people, I hate promo voice. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, like that like that like suddenly I'm American, gonna get you Yeah. <laughs> that like fake like presentation or like yeah. walking off at the end of a promo. I hate I hate um you know, there's a lot of like weird things that like I'll start picking apart. Um I, there are referee things I pick apart. Yeah. Or, I was saying like Aubrey ref Aubrey was like I watched her Brody would probably tell you about it, but like she gave him the belt and it's like stand strong. Like or, like you know what I mean? Like she tells me like stand up, look strong. And it's like a no referee would ever say that to you, like and it's like something like that where you're like that's that's a fucking referee who knows what the fuck you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you when you're in the ring with a good referee, it you it's so notable. It's so notable. But then there's also the referees who it's like it's good in theory, but there's too much of it. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen mm-hmm. people like oversell a kick out, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh come on, like this isn't about you. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. Or like the yeah, other in they're like. Acting like a fan in the ring. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, or the, like the, but then again, there were refer- like I, I hate like big jumps on like this big bump happens. They do like that big jump cell and they go down to big pin, but like Hebner did it. Mm. Fucking one of the best referees in the history of wrestling. It's like he did it. And it's like, well, am I wrong or is it like you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. everyone has those weird. I like new ones. I like working with uh, Jeremy Marcus Jeremy is because my, he'll is my be favorite. he'll. He'll give you like he'll talk things. To he'll you. talk to you during the match. He'll be like, "You guys are doing really yeah. great. Like, I keep love the crowd, when keep the crowd, and like that me. kind of stuff." Yeah. Like, he'll he'll really check in and like tell yeah. you how he thinks it's going, or like if we need to do more, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, he's get him back, asked, get him back. Like, he's even asked me like, "Do you know where you are? Do you need like he like just very quick, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. If he sees like I'm confused or like I don't yeah. know what I don't have to do next." Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Fight forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. an attentive referee who's like gives a fuck about where we are like there's also like <laughs> I've also had the referee where you like tell them to go to the hot tag okay because from, from a tag perspective like I'll be on the apron mm-hmm. and I'm like tell them to go to the hot tag and they'll be like huh? <laughs> and I'm like oh, oh, oh yeah, no. please <laughs> please oh god please <laughs> I did a show for Impact it was um they did like a one night only thing whatever and I wrestled this uh, uh, this tag team, uh, uh, the, the New Heavenly Bodies, and we were wrestling, and uh, we got to a spot where we did like a, a four-man, we did like a big breakup of pins, and then like a strike team, so we're all down. Mm-hmm. And so in my head, I'm like, all right, we were given 18 minutes of TV time, so I have to hit 18 minutes. So I look at the referee, and his earpiece is out. And I'm like, oh, I'm like fuck me. No. So I'm like... I'm like, what's how? Where are we at? What time are we at? Now I'm in my head. I'm like, I think I have like three or four more minutes. Like that's. I'm like, I know about where I am. Mm-hmm. And I go, where are we at? And he goes, go home. I'm like, you're right. You're... So I'm on the ground, and we're on all we're all on the ground, and I'm like looking up, and I, I kind of like give him like a like a, a look, and it's like, in my head, I'm like, he was getting yelled at so much in the earpiece for us to go home. He took it out. He had to take it out because he couldn't function. So I'm like. So I'm losing my mind. Uh, so I'm like, pick him up, let's get out of here. So we did it, did it, hit the fucking thing, go in the back. I walk in the back, Sanjay is there, and he says, what happened? 
I'm like, I'm so sorry. He goes like, you were like four minutes short. Oh. I was like, what? He goes, you're four minutes short. It's like, I told you guys 18. I'm like, and you don't want to be like the, the ref, fucking ref. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, That's this, crazy because you knew it in your gut. In my like head, I'm like, because I've I, I lived 19 fucking yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. I know right. about right. time, right? right. 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 Um, and I'm like sitting there, I'm like, so I'm like kind of like staring and I don't want to bury him without talking to him because yeah. he might have misheard or somebody might have said something or Sanjay could be ribbing me. Like, there's a variety of things that could yeah, happen yeah. here. Um, so I said, like, I'm very sorry. Like, um, you know, I didn't mean for that to happen. Like, I thought we were good on time. Uh, we believe we were good on time. Like, without saying, like, I made the call. Like, we believe we were good. And then uh, I go over to the ref after. I'm like, why did you tell me to go home? I thought uh, Sanjay told me to go home. He goes, the crowd, man. Pardon? <laughs> you didn't think I can get them what? up from there? Like, you thought that was it? Like, oh, brother, I've seen you wrestle. That's as high as they're going to get. Go home. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so, I I mean, for the entire night, like, I'm storming. And, like, I, like I, I don't, I'm not a violent person in the slightest. If you think I did not want to fight that motherfucker. <laughs> like, I was, I was, like, I said to Bill, I'm like, we have to go. Because I'm, I'm going to fight him. I would have been furious. Yeah, I would have been so Oh, nice. my God. And I, you know, like, I can definitely be, like, the old vet who like yells at people like I've definitely done that like I've definitely been the person to like chew somebody out if I think they did something wrong if I've been stiffed I'm losing my mind on you like you know what I mean like I'm gonna be that person but like generally referees get the shit end of almost every stick yeah. so I try yeah. to be fair to them Yeah. this dude and he's but not a bad person mis- but there's some mistakes that are like that's your job right yeah. but I don't I don't actually hate this guy like I think in his head he was doing the right thing yeah. and you almost have to like just kind of like guide him and be like never do that again like you don't make the judgment call you are not in charge of the show your job is to call the match and like help us along the way like you're not the person to decide when matches end like yeah. they'll tell you if you have an earpiece believe me if they didn't like that match they would have said like get them the fuck out of there yeah and but then like at the end of it like I was like two hours of me like trying to calm myself down to, like, talk to him. And at the end of two hours, I went to Bill. I'm like, we have to leave. He's like, you're not going to say anything? I'm like, Bill, I'm going to fight him. I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah. This is, like, our opportunity to be on a stage in front of Impact. And we yeah. had we were given the most time on the card. Yeah. And we fell short. Do you have any idea how mad I am right now? Like, yeah. I had 18 minutes of TV time. You know, like, it was, like, a, a, a pay-per-view, but it wasn't really a pay I don't want to call it that, but, like... I had 18 minutes and you cut my time. Yeah. And then they had to give it to somebody else. And you didn't yeah. get the full like effect of the match that you guys. And we had the crowd. And yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. can really go somewhere with this. And we had Falsy sequence that was going to come up and it was going to be a really hot sequence. And the I, reason he gave you to, like, the, rep, yeah. the reason that the rep they gave, gave us the like, opportunity what? to go. Because what happens, LAX, um, Angel Ortiz had a baby that day. Uh, and so Santana, like, was in the hospital with Angel and, like, Impact was like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, we need one of you at least, and I know Angel can't come, so can you come? So they gave us their match wow. because mm-hmm. they couldn't do it. And it was like a huge opportunity for us, and like, whatever. And like, Santana was kind of the one who was like, yeah, Team Tremendous would be great for that spot. And like, yeah. we were like super into it. And we fucking, I, dude, I got so <laughs> 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 If you have, I don't know, if, so. yeah. if anybody ever walked by in the match, you'll see like, there's a point in the match where it's like we're all down and then suddenly we go home and we like you know it wasn't just like get up go take the finish right. like, we did do a little bit to get to it but like I'm gonna look for it now. Yeah. it's like it's it's called Night of the Dummies okay. that's the name of the, the pay-per-view and like it was there's just a point where it's like we're still going and we have them and then suddenly it's like no it's shit gang pick them up go home and it's like we had four more minutes wow. and it's like oh my god I was so mad I like, I'm mad about it right now. <laughs> yes, <like. laughs> it's been like two years, and I'm like, fuck that. He's bucket. turning red. He's yeah. <laughs> but again, like the, everyone's gonna watch the match, and you're gonna like, hate the referee. But like, you don't because like I think in his head he was like he, he believed that it was time to go home, and like you just have to tell someone. And I think he's well aware of how much I hate him about it. So because yeah. I've seen him since, and he mm. won't talk to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, like this guy's hurt, learned enough yeah. in the course of. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever had. Uh, you've done TV. Uh, you did yeah. a yeah. raw, right? Well, yeah, I've done that. I've done Impact, Impact. ROH, um, and then I do Championship Wrestling with Hollywood yeah. like every other week. So I'm like getting you getting that. TV I'm getting exposure. the experience and like the like how to work for TV, which is really really helpful. And those weird cues, where it's like yeah. you guys get a minute forty. You're like, huh? <laughs> yeah, and like recently, I've been kind of pushing pushing the time a little bit, like getting to that point where they're like, 
you need to go home. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there, we're almost there. <laughs> you might have been like, like, I'm like, you guys have 30 seconds, relax. That's like a month in wrestling. <laughs> and you had secret sequence, like you hit the pin, one, two, three, and you yeah. go back. And, and then like, they're like, okay, get out of the ring. Like, you can't even celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, you all your yeah. time. You see, you're celebrating on the way to the back because yeah. you're talking about, like, what's, what's coming up next on yeah. TV. You, well, well, you, you've done, do you, um, cha- do you championship? I did championship wrestling from Hollywood, like, when I first started. Mm-hmm. Um, but the one thing that I need, like, uh, like I would do more, I would love to do more TV work for, because of is like time. Like I don't have concept of time, you know, like I, I, I really don't. I, as far as like camera angles, I think it's pretty, I'm pretty good. Like I I always ask where the hard cam is and I always, I always run like the way I need to, even if it's not on TV or whatever. I just, you know, I I I try to train myself there and that. But time is what I really lack. Like, yeah. understanding how far I'm in or, you know, like, yeah. what... But that just comes from matches where it's just, <clears> like, you know, if someone says to you hard, hard time, or, like, uh, yeah. curtain to curtain is 10. Mm-hmm. And you start going, like, well, how long's my entrance? And that's where it starts yeah. getting, like, Yeah, because breakdown. when at Hollywood, they do it um, curtain with, curtain. En- with entrances. Yeah. yeah, so it's, like, if you get eight minutes, you're like, okay, well, actually, we're having a five-minute match because it's going to take a minute and a minute and then a minute at the end. Like, yeah. You mm-hmm. really have to, like, give yourself that time. And then I think taking moments is something I learned from TV wrestling. Yeah, I think you need to create that that, that spot or that, that scenario where it's like you've established something that is camera-ready. Yeah. Where it's like one person up, one person down, or both of you down. Yeah. It's like there's those key... Like, I've gotten notes from, because they do have, they have the, the headpieces and stuff, like, notes to, like, okay, talk, talk shit to the crowd, or, like, yeah. that kind of thing, so that they want that time in between, that's not just, like, blah, 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 the whole time. You think indie wrestling, where you're, like, wrestling for just that, whatever, but then you realize, like, you're actually talking to the whole audience, too. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. the important thing. Yeah. Like, that's a, but there's also, like, TV things I fucking hate, and yeah. one of them is, like, uh, how to pin. I mean, mm-hmm. that point well, but like, only the final pin needs to be hard right. Time. But like that, does, you never see that reflected on TV though, unless they're only doing it for the final pin. In which case, now you know it's the final pin. But you know what I started doing because of that? I actively it's, it's flip like, over to make it seem like it's gonna be the. But final then you pin. should do it for every single pin. Yeah. No, right? I've started doing it like more often. But, but from right. my perspective, <laughs> as a wrestler, why the fuck would I float over if I have a pin right here? Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like yeah. the, the camera to see your face. You have floating cameras. Get the floating camera to get my face. Yeah. Send them over. Why the fuck am I gonna modify my? Also, like where you're doing your move so that it like looks the best. That's, right. Yeah. It's like, but then it, I I also think that the creatively I said this the other day too. Like people think that like once you give them parameters, it reduces your creativity, and I actually think the opposite. It makes you more creative. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, well, how do I get my finisher to hit in this exact spot in the ring? Mm-hmm. And yeah. That's the kind of cool like building to that mm-hmm. point. And, that's so why I like tag matches too. It's like, well, I want to hit the finish here, but I have to be legal. How do I get to this point? Oh, I yeah. love that. I yeah. love when tags like try to. We're learning that out. a lot mm-hmm. more mm-hmm. into how to do better tag matches and like. Were you guys teaming like when you're teaming in bar wrestling mm-hmm. for a bit? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like you have to like develop that weird t- yep. tag chemistry that you don't think, and then having a tag match without having it be two singles. Yeah. That's yeah. The yeah. yeah exactly. Um, I think we've done a pretty good job of yeah. doing both. Like, yeah, because we're we try and. We try and integrate, like, tag moves throughout the match now, mm-hmm. I think, like... But it's not even, like, the moves, too. It's, like, the psychology like the of, like, the match. Yeah, 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 yeah. the psychology yeah. of the team, right? Yeah, so, like, right. Yeah. For me and Bill, like, one of the things I started doing was just telling him what to do as we're wrestling. Yeah. Like, leg drop him. Out loud. Yeah. Crowd yeah. heard it. Bill does a leg drop. Why? I'm a fucking team well, leader. I can tell team. him what yeah. he knows <laughs> to do here. And you start going to that term where, like, um, who was... Uh, somebody did it last night that I thought was real good. Um... Was it the, the, ra- the, the oh the rascals did it real well where they were like move your legs because like he was doing the sentons in the ring and brother had it was holding him with oh, his yeah, legs because yeah. move your legs and then as he was midair Dez moved his legs so he took the thing oh yeah and it's like of course he told him to move his legs like more often not wrestling you see someone whisper like move your legs like yeah no like you're there you're allowed mm-hmm. to call spots you're going like basketball players call plays all the time like yeah. why wouldn't I be yeah. able to call yeah, the play yeah, yeah. 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 true true so. But yeah, that's like I, I, that's why I love tag wrestling is because you can kind of like you can play with play with stuff more. I think everything in, in tag everything wrestling, yeah. can happen because now you're playing with them, us, the ref, the te- thing. Yeah. Mean? Like you have all these elements yeah. to mess around with. It can create some more interesting vibe for a pro wrestling match. 
What do you think your weakness is as a tag team? Um, okay. Sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes maybe. Sometimes and this is me too. <laughs> I'm in the match, that's the weakness. So, no, this is, this is on me too. Just, like, creativity sometimes. Like, we, because we're so new to it, like, it's now thinking for two, two, two heads. Yeah. And, like, a spot for two people that we can kind of get ourselves over as a team. As opposed to, I'm going to do my single move, transition it to you. You do a single move. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. As opposed to doing something together creatively. Um, and then because we do work bar, at least for me, I'm not funny. Like, she's the <laughs> funny one. So, like, trying to keep up with, like, her, like... But don't personality. Don't. You know? No, it's. I think that's why it's good because we we are very different in our mm. styles and like, the first time that we did put a match together, um, by ourselves without Peter and Ray. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we. It was like a thing where I put the whole structure together and then he came up with all these spots and it's like that is why yeah. I think we work well together. Right. Because I was like, here's how we should structure it because that's like what I'm good at, yeah. and then he's good at coming up with creative spots. So it was like. Uh, I look at like for, for me and Bill it was always like. You know, I'm so I do stand up. I'm a comedian, whatever. Like I, I'm somebody who tries to be the funny person. And I realized with me and Bill, it's like I can't be the funny person. Bill can't be the funny person. Mm-hmm. And it's like you have to be. There's a straight man. There's a funny man. Yeah. Right now in tag matches, you can have like similar dynamic. It doesn't need to be straight man, funny man. It'd be like whatever that kind of dynamic is. But like when you're saying like I have to kind of keep up, there's like no, you don't. You get to be you. You're the intense yeah. one. You, be you, and like, you can make up for her being an idiot, and you can react to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Not, you know, idiot being yeah, wrestling yeah, idiot. Yeah. Like you know, she's also. I an like idiot, looking. But. I like. <laughs> but I like looking dumb in a match. That's like yeah. my one of my favorite things to do. Like. <laughs> I like the oh shit, and then something happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite. Where you like realize like oh like they were playing chess and I just got caught. You're like oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Catch it. Like, yeah. Um, I I I I think that sometimes tag teams get too comfortable with. Or too hooked on the idea of like we need to look like a a, ta- a cohesive unit. I think that's a big problem, especially for new tag teams. Why the fuck are you a cohesive unit? You're not. You are yeah. two new people on a tag team. That's true. You mm. should fuck up. Like that the miscommunication. The young bucks are the most oiled, ta- well oiled tag team in pro wrestling, and they have miscommunication spots. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like that makes sense. I think that like. Um, People think like, oh, this miscommunication is going to turn to some sort of like angle where you break up. It's like, no, that's how you figure out maybe next time you have that match, that miscommunication is about to come and you realize and you stop yourself and you get to do something else out of it. Yeah. And everything so kind true. of build on it. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, it's, like a, it's not like a, you know, it's just like an interesting concept. And you know, nobody has to take this idea, but like the idea of like take deconstructing the elements of a tag match that make it a tag match and going, how can we fuck that up? And yeah, that's that, more interesting yeah. than how do I make this perfect? Yeah, like, yeah. It yeah, should be I a fuck up. You should have a mistake here. You should, but. But that's like the fun part about tag wrestling. Right. You can like play with all yeah. of that. Like. You get to have those moments of like, like you know, and then especially when like for me, it's like I one of my proudest moments is watching like my partner do something where you're like, fuck yes, like that was the perfect moment for them to do that, mm-hmm. and it yeah. worked so Same. perfectly, and you're yeah. like. You get to kind of like as a fan be on the apron like mm-hmm. that was the coolest thing in the whole fucking world. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, it's a cool dynamic. Tag, I, tag yeah. wrestling's hands down my favorite type of pro wrestling. I like I like tag wrestling yeah. too. But I started that's like was my bread and butter for a little yeah. while with Laura, and then kind of she she stopped wrestling, so I kind of went on my way. She does like one show. Yeah, like yeah, she's she's pretty done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's pretty done. Yeah. <laughs> she's I, like I'm I'm done. <laughs> Tends to happen. Yeah, <laughs> so, but, but so like when when they put uh, when Joey put us together, I was like pretty excited about that because it's such a different yes. dynamic too. Mm-hmm. Like he pushes me a lot to do what I I do want to take that next step. So like having him as a tag team partner has helped push me there too. Right. I, I, it's but it's a, but it's a good like and then it also helps you because it just, you can establish more like character, mm-hmm. right? Well, she, yeah, and she you helps can define bring your character. Yeah, 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 and you get to be like more of yourself and bring more of yourself into the arm. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. That's a cool like. That's the other cool thing, too, and it's like, if you don't team with her, you team with someone else, you have this lesson to be like, all right, well, how do I want to be over here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Everyone that you tag with is pretty character huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like that. Dom, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, but it's a good thing. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I think if the people I've tagged with over my career, like, it's the dynamic changes between each of them, but, mm-hmm. like, I generally tend to stay the same. Like, yeah. you know, how I approach myself in that match is sometimes different, but, like, the person that I am at at the end of the day, it's like I'm the same 
it's Dan Barry, like, across yeah. the board. Yeah. Like, it's not suddenly a goofy, weird Dan Barry. It's, like, right. it's Dan Barry. Like, yeah. That's it, you know. If, uh, if you could be any wrestling character, like, you could change tomorrow and be like, tomorrow I am this, what would it be? Oh. Can I be Orange Cassidy? God. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in wrestling wants to be Orange Cassidy. I was like, Cassidy. actually, that sounds nice. <laughs> okay, I be Orange Cassidy. He is amazing. <laughs> uh, his, his, as he wrestles, is like what my vision of what my pro wrestling style is. I, would, it's be, like, I would be Joey. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never fall on my back ever again. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yes, make a bunch of merch money. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's even said, like, sometimes like, everywhere. Like, yeah. I saw him in Mania, I'm like, how's it going? And he's like, fucking bump today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Joey. I'm yeah. like laughing my ass off. I was like, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> but also, he's one of the most generous people to he's, work with. Yeah, yeah uh, he he was my second match at uh, PWG, and he was the reason we won. He was supposed, we were supposed to lose. And Joey goes, why would we Why would we win? He's like, they should win. And it's like, you know, it's like it's like former tag team champions. He's always, always good about that. Yeah. Like, he, why would you put the random tag team up over an established yeah, tag and he, team? He was like, he was like, you know, these guys are up and coming. These guys are like, you know, they, they had a huge outing. He, he, it's like a big return for them. Like, put them over us because, like, me and Candace have kind of, like, run the course to some respect. He's like, you know, just, like, let it run the course and put them up next and whatever. And, like, you know, Dragon was like, yeah, all right, it's fine. It was, like, a, it was like a cool moment because it was like, you didn't need to do that. Yeah. Um, He's a super generous wrestler. It's all about the other person, right? Yeah. Like it's mm-hmm. kind of like the cool concept of because, because he does know the level that he's at and, like, he's not that person that's like, well, I'm at a level that I need to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm at a level where I can make you look better. Yeah, and it, it, it just, you know, from my perspective, it's like, if you if you lose and you're afraid of losing stock because if you lost, then I feel like you don't get wrestling. Yeah. You, know, you, yeah. Should, you should be yeah, able to lose and still be, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, uh, Jungle Boy lost you. Suddenly, Jungle Boy doesn't suck. It's not mm-hmm. how that works. Like, <laughs> oh, he's terrible now. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah. lost Jungle, one match. He just lost his AEW contract. <laughs> that's so matter, Slick well. move, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> You're an actual Smash asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Real piece of shit. <laughs> I, Orange Cass is like the best gimmick. Uh, it's funny because he's so polarizing and people don't realize like how good he is. Like, yeah. That's a hard character to play. It's a hard character to like... Well, even just some of the stuff he does athletically. Like, hands in his nip, pockets. Yeah, nip up with his hands in his pocket. A suicide dive with his hands in yeah. his pocket. Like, i die. <laughs> the, the fact that he got over last night just going... Yes. Yeah. Fuck me. Or like Dave, <laughs> David Starr took his glasses and broke them. Stop. And that was the first time I've ever seen someone do it. Maybe he's done that spot somewhere else. But that was the first time I've ever yeah, seen yeah. someone yeah. take him off and like break them. Stop. And he just brings out another pair and puts them <laughs> on. And the crowd went wild. Cause, especially because and kudos to David Starr for like milking breaking the glasses. Yes. It mm-hmm. took as long as humanly possible <laughs> to break the cheapest pair of sunglasses that anybody could ever own. And then he when, was, like when they hard. started cheering. Yeah, you know, he goes like, he's like, just like this, he fucking throwing them around, and he's stomping them, and stomping them, and then they spit on them, stomping them. And he's like, oh, he's you're like, welcome, you're right, welcome. Here we are, he turns yeah. around, and yeah. yeah. they're cheering he because he has them on. And he just, you could see like his soul leave his body, like, I can't even, I can't even do this. Um, that's the type of shit I love. Yeah. yeah. And that's the, I don't know, that's why I like wrestling. Yeah, like exactly. Like, that's, that's <clears throat> what I love about it. Like, yeah, like that, that fully, totally different, mm-hmm. like, Like, you can have a match, like, what him and Jungle Boy yeah. probably had, and then... Immediately that. after, you can have the weirdest, like, yeah. the weirdest yeah. approach to pro wrestling, and still have it make sense in its own way, uh... And still be good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where are we at? Oh, you can take it home on that one. All right, let's go home then. You guys don't want to plug anything? Go home! <laughs> Should have got home four minutes the, ago. The crowd. <laughs> Brother, the crowd. <laughs> Triple H over there doesn't want to. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> what, what, what's, let's talk about your social media. What are your social medias? Heather is me on Instagram and Twitter. And her Patreon. Go. Oh, go, her. yeah. Join my Patreon. <laughs> I'm on a Patreon, but I realize I love nobody's going to watch I love your, I love your tears. Pictures. I, I yeah. think your tears are my favorite out of my, everyone's. My like tears, your, Mean Girls is my top yes. tier. <laughs> and She's the Man's also one of my tears. Which, have you seen that movie? No. Oh my god, have you seen no. that? You guys, it's Amanda <laughs> Bynes at her peak levels. <laughs> oh, so like here? <laughs> it's, 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 uh, she dresses up like her 
a twin brother to play soccer at a private so school. So it's it's the opposite and of ladybugs. Channing Tatum's in it. Oh, is he really? Yeah. You know, we saw ladybugs. I'm, these, Anyways. You know, these ladybugs. <laughs> Would Rodney fucking Dangerfield? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Fuck it. Triple H is Triple H. Have you seen she's the man? <laughs> okay. I know, we're doing it, I know what we're doing after this, and it's finding she's the man. Oh, I thought it was going to be eating because I'm fat. That's what I really <laughs> that want to do. That too, but mimosas. <laughs> oh, mimosas. I'm not even a mimosa person, but I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> we have Anyways, to. Heather is me. <laughs> Join my Patreon. Go follow her. Join her Patreon. Pay her monthly so she can send you pictures. I need money. <laughs> yeah. So. My Patreon is just me eating potato chips shirtless. Sorry. Someone is going to pay for that. Somebody, uh, I've gotten a request for like my underwear and my shoes, which was mm-hmm. new to me because whatever, I'm not going to try and fish or anything, but like I don't have great self-esteem. So like when someone sends me like, what? Like what is, is everything okay at home? Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, check up on them. Yeah, what, what? Uh, I am Jake Atlas on Twitter and Instagram. Unfortunately, I don't have a Patreon. I'm sorry. But yeah. I am One Jake day. Atlas on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and watch us on Bar Wrestling. That's also on the High Spots Network. And tell Joey to book me again because I like going to California. Yeah, and bar book wrestling. us at our first date. <laughs> yeah, <our> first date. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry you had to watch it. And uh, best nine ninety nine in the business. Thank eh? you. Bye, Triple H. <laughs> Don't give up. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Don't give up. Fight forever. Fight forever. And ever. And ever. And ever.